Don't freak out guys. We're still here. We're just at the top right of the screen. We just want to show you some stuff today. Uh, this is our first webcam how-to video, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, and I'm super excited because we got a question in the comments uh, from Rebenna Chicken. Mm -hmm. Rebenna asks, how do you put Mario on the bottom of the screen? So we did a how-to video showing how to put her on the left side. Her? How to put Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Mario's not a her. Oh, it could be Toadette. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we, you did do a video yeah. about how to put him on the left or uh -huh. the right. So yes. you can't see him. This is off screen, but he's not dead. So, and yeah. We're going to show you a quick example of that. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So. And that's just to contrast it with how you're going to put him on the top and bottom because you do it completely different. Mm -hmm. So there we go. And... We're not dead, we're off screen, yep. and we're still controlling stuff. So this is an on-off switch game mm -hmm. where we help Kirby get supper. Yep. So I'm hitting an on-off switch without you seeing Mario do it. Right. So the idea behind this is you are Kirby right now. Yep. That's the whole point of putting Mario off screen. Yes. Okay, go through the door. Or you want to... Yeah, just let's show him one more. So... This is another way to do it. Remember yep. before it was the auto scroll from the start of the level pushing you? Mm -hmm. And this way you come through a door and we have like a little pusher block yes. that pushes uh -huh. you off screen. See that track mm -hmm. off on the left? In this case we just use a build blaster because it's taller. Yeah, build blaster works great actually. You can use lots of things. Build blaster works the best. Yep, so I'm still controlling all switch. Right. Having fun killing Lemmy. So. Okay, now you see that? Those those uh, ground blocks on the right side of the screen, mm -hmm. what the, that is is screen lock. And yes. all you have to do is make ground blocks from the top to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And if you make it the right width, like, so you're gonna have to experiment where it's gonna go. You can yes. use the guides on maker mode, that they're like the thick lines to yeah. show you how big the screen is. Mm -hmm. But you're still gonna have to experiment and you get it so that Mario doesn't die and he's still off screen. So you yep. go left and right a little bit until you get it. Mm -hmm. um, and what that does is the auto scroll like moves the screen until it gets to the screen lock and then yep. it stops. Mm -hmm. so, so that's the trick. Screen lock is essential. Right, okay. Now we're gonna answer Rebenna Chicken's question. Yep. We're gonna go to a different level for that. Okay guys, this is a level called Buet's Haunted Mansion version two. It's a level we made mm -hmm. to show how a lot of things can happen off screen without you doing anything. Yep. All right. Uh, the very first screen shows Mario going off the bottom of the screen without dying. We are not dead. Yep, we are not and dead. It, actually, I should point out that's Toad, if you didn't know, not Mario. Just always say Mario. <laughs> right, yeah. Okay, now Mario is going to appear, or Toad is going to appear on the right side of the screen, <gasps> magically, okay? And somehow that boo killed the Prona plant to give us a key. How does that happen? Okay, now this is another screen that shows you something slightly different but similar. Mm -hmm. So if you go to the donut block and you let the donut block go down, you can go off screen but you can still see mm -hmm. uh, the frog suit. But if I duck, you can't see it. If you duck, you can't see it, yeah. But you're not dead, mm -hmm. okay? Now let's go to the top of the screen where the coin is on the left. And that's going to trigger another off-screen mechanism. Oh, look at the ghost. You always forget about the ghost. <laughs> he, he is a ghost hat because of this level. Okay. Yes. So now we went off the top of the screen and we're not dead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now jump over to the middle of the screen. Oh, gosh. Hopefully without taking too much damage because we might have to take damage later. Okay. Now stand on that and then jump to the middle. Okay. Now all he did was jump to the top of the screen. Yep. And he's not dead. And he's not coming down. So what goes up doesn't necessarily come down. Now, but if you do want to get down, all you have to do is press the jump button again and you come down. Yep. Now to illustrate one more tricky thing, uh, go to the left bottom of the screen, but to the right of the donut block. Huh. And drop down that pit right there. Now why are we getting hurt? Because of the spikes. Well, that don't, we put there. you're gonna tell them or just gonna tell them. Just gonna tell them all our secrets. Well, I guess that's why we're here, right? We're gonna yep. tell you exactly how to do it. So let's go to maker mode and let's show them. 
edit. So how do we do it? Custom auto scroll. Okay, so let's show them how to find custom auto scroll in the menu. So we go to auto scroll. Click on it. And then you see none, slow, normal, fast. Those are all normal auto scrolls that mm -hmm. just go left to right. And then and you have custom at the bottom. So we click on custom and we press OK. To the right of that, you have to click on that, mm -hmm. that little button to the right in order to edit the custom auto scroll. Yep. If you don't edit it, nothing really happens except normal auto scroll. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now the biggest difference between normal auto scroll and custom auto scroll, now listen closely, gotta get this, is normal auto scroll follows Mario up and down. Mm -hmm. Custom auto scroll doesn't. Yep. Okay, that is the big, big difference. So what I mean by that is uh, normally the game wants to keep Mario or Toad in this case in the middle of the screen at all times. Yes. Custom auto scroll is the exception. Mm -hmm. So you get to choose where the screen goes in maker mode. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Now, if you see the bird that says S, mm -hmm. that means start. So you can't move it up and down like this, right. and you can't erase it. Right. And you can't move it left and right. Mm -hmm. So the only way you can move it up and down is to move the start platform. Right. And, and as you, can you can see, see the bird. Yep. Yep. So that will decide how high or low the Those. screen starts. Right. That's the starting point. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what you start off with. Yep. So, now go ahead and er erase that guy. Mm -hmm. We don't actually need him. Mm -hmm. um, so ignore that one. That was like an extra bird. You will start your level when you're making with something similar to this. Some yep. things you won't see is the extra lines from the pipe and the door. Yes, because, because when you first start, you won't have those. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay? Um, but if you ever put a door or a pipe in your level and Mario goes through the pipe, you're going to automatically have a line. Yeah, because those are places where Mario can spawn. Right, so those are new start points mm -hmm. that you've established. Yes. Okay, now you can click the arrows to change the speed of the auto scroll. Yep, so that's how fast it goes to the set. Mm -hmm. to you appointed it. And if you scroll all the way to the right of the level, all the way, 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 all the way. All the way. This is the other bird that you start with, mm -hmm. and you can't really change them except by moving the ground up and down. Yep. And this is your end point. So you have a start point and end point. Now it's up to you to decide what happens in between. Right. Right. So. So, so, so. Since this keeps the screen up, Right. Mario can go below the screen, but not too far. Right. So essentially what that does is instead of the screen following Mario, the screen stays centered where that bird is. Mm -hmm. And that means that if Mario is still technically within the screen area, yeah. but you can't see him, then he won't die. But if Mario goes too low, right. then he will die. Right. Mm -hmm. So you have a little bit to play with, but not too much. So if I start it, and I go below the screen, I don't die. Right. But if we erased some layer of ground down here, then we probably would die. Mm -hmm. Now the screen lock is really important because that keeps the screen on a certain level. If you go scroll up a little bit, you see how that those dotted lines, the arrow lines, are slanting yep. down at an angle. If we were to take the screen lock away, the screen would keep scrolling right like auto scroll. Yes. And not only that, but the screen would keep going down. Mm -hmm. And that would either reveal Mario, or if it was going up, it would kill Mario. Yep. And we can change this by moving this up and down. Correct. And now, you're going to actually have to add that in there. So all you have to do to add it in is by clicking on the yep, line that's click. already there. Yep. Yeah, so we just added another one. Okay, mm -hmm. and so what that is is it's like where does the screen go from the start point? Yes. Does it go down or does it go up? Mm -hmm. And it, it can go uh, down to a certain point or up to a certain point, and that's illustrated by the blue screen. You yes. see the blue background. Mm -hmm. You can't go any higher or lower than that, and the reason for that is because the birds define the middle of the screen. Yes. So this right here is the top is the top of the center, the right. center of the top. That's as high as the center yeah. can go. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Um, so let's see. You are going to have to experiment. Okay. I guarantee you, you're not going to get it your first try setting it up. Yep. But all you're going to have to do is move that little number one bird up and down. Like up. a little bit up, a little and bit down, a little go. bit up, a little bit down, until everything is exactly where you want it. So if Mario dies when he goes off screen, mm -hmm. they have to make the ground go up or lower the bird. Right. Also, you got to remember your screen lock. If you don't have your screen lock, your screen keeps scrolling. Yep. Also, uh, the more your screen scrolls, the more the screen will go up or down. Yes, yeah, so if it hits the screen lock before it goes all the way up, it won't go up anymore. Right. So even if your bird is way up there, your screen's not going to go that high because you get to the screen lock first. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you want it to go all the way up, you either move the bird to the left or you Oops. move the screen lock farther yeah. away so it's more time mm -hmm. to go up there. Also, if your screen lock's too slow, it'll change it as well. Mm -hmm. So let's go into why we didn't die and why we did die. So here we have we put spikes because we we didn't really want them to come down here. Right. So we get to decide uh, when the bottom of the screen kills you and when it mm -hmm. doesn't. So if we didn't have spikes there, you wouldn't die. For here, yeah. Now here we don't have spikes, so you don't die. Mm -hmm. You're just standing on that semi-solid, actually. Right. Right. Okay. And now what about the top of the screen? How do we go to the top and not die? So here is a semi solid right here. Right. Which you can stand on. And yep. then and then it moves out of the way so you drop back down again. Uh-huh. And then when we did that jump, yep. We jumped into a claw. Mm -hmm. This wasn't actually intended, but we just found it out. Yeah, it was like it was like an accidental discovery that we yeah. decided to keep in cuz mm -hmm. it was so cool. All right. Does that about cover it? I think so. Okay. I think that about covers it. If we missed any detail or if you have any additional questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Yep. We'll make another video. Mm-hmm.